back to my channel. Today I am talking about my big chop. Yes, I have had my haircut. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but yes, I have had to cut my hair um, due to, to be honest, I don't know. The reason I am having this issue is still under investigation. But it's got to a point that, you know, I had to say goodbye to my hair. So, um, a little bit about me and my hair. I have had natural hair for as long as I could remember, ever since I was a child. Yes, my hair has been treated um, maybe once. Once by a relaxer. But my mom used to press my hair. Um, with the hot comb um, so it could be straight and she could she could braid it and so forth um, and growing up I've always had braids and um, cornrows um, so that's how I managed to look after my natural hair then as I got into my late teens and early 20s I started to notice that like my hair was thinning a little and I would get the odd um, bulb patches um, which was due to tension on my head when I used to get my hair braided. And also it's dependent on the sizes because I used to get um, maybe small to medium, but most of the time they were pretty small braids. Um, so that can also be damaging, especially if you're putting all your hair up into a ponytail. And the reason why I had all that hair loss was because there was so much tension at the top of my head and then also at the front. Um, and then going forth from then, early 20s, I started uh, to wear wigs. I decided to educate myself and invest more in my natural hair and make sure that it was healthy and beautiful. And I could say for the last eight years, I've been wearing wigs um, and I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the whole process of having a wig to the point that sometimes I don't even want to see my natural hair. Back to the reason why I had a big chop is due to something that's going on with my hair that I don't understand. Um, and right now I'm working with my doctors to find out what's the matter and I'm also working with my natural hair specialist Miss Joy Fido from World of Braiding. Anyone who hasn't heard of World of Braiding, World of Braiding is a world-renowned training school where you learn how to care for natural hair and also specialise in natural hair techniques. I will leave all her information below so you can contact her if you're interested in becoming a natural hair stylist. I've had this issue for about eight months and it's got to a point that I had to cut my hair off. Um, and I've gone to see Joy, um, my natural hair specialist, because as a stylist myself, you need somebody to look at your own hair um, because sometimes you can't see what is going on at the top of your head and, you know, yes, you can tell that your hair is dry and so forth, but sometimes you need somebody at the forefront or the other side to look at what's going on with you and your hair. So I basically went to see Joy for a consultation and uh, we talked through my lifestyle, my 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 hair braiding patterns, and general habits. Um, so she looked at all these things to kind of narrow down what the main problem is. So at the moment, we're still kind of looking at what's going on with my body and how my body reacts to things. So she's given me my, uh, like my own prescription of what I need to do, which I'm following. And I can say I've noticed a difference. There's a lot of things that have changed and it's only been about two weeks. I've had my, my big chop was maybe two weeks ago and I've implemented a few of, I would say, the prescription um, into my lifestyle and I have noticed a big difference. So right now, the issues that I'm having, they're slowly getting resolved. And the biggest issue was that the reason why I had to cut my hair was there was a lot of hair loss and where I had the hair loss, there was not a lot of growth. There was growth, but it had stopped. It was just, it stopped at a certain level and that was it. And I had to cut the rest of my hair because it was just all going to follow in that path. Just fall out in the shower 
when I take it out because when I was taking out my my braids or cornrows that I would do for my wig um, it would just come out it was just sliding out sliding out you know and I usually finger detangle before I comb and it was just my hair was just like it was just coming out um, and I guess because I know about natural hair care I didn't panic it was hard to be honest it's hard when any woman loses hair because it's kind of your your pride and glory it's kind of it's something that makes you almost feel beautiful and feminine your hair and without it you do kind of feel lost and when when joy cut my hair I was sad for a brief moment because I I was a bit unsure of how it looked how my boyfriend would react uh, family and friends would react you know people who are closest to who you see who you see every day how they'd react to the fact that you've had your hair cut because I'd come to terms with it even though it was just like oh my gosh my hair is gone um, I'd come to terms with it because I could see that this is where it was going and I had changed a, a, my lifestyle a lot and I wasn't seeing the results that I thought I would get if I had you know stopped using certain brushes or combs and things like that I literally had stopped doing a lot of things to my hair because I was just like hopefully one of the things that I'm stopping is the main problem but because that wasn't happening and my hair wasn't growing at the same time I had to go seek professional help and medical help because it could be it could be a medical problem that I'm having that's causing me to have um, such hair loss but um, I thought I would share with you guys um, my big chop it's uh, a lot of people say a big chop is because you're trying to grow your hair natural um, and I think a big chop is just when you are ready to start again it's like a fresh fresh plate or slate fresh page and you're just like okay let's start this again let's do it properly let's build a routine um, and follow that and hopefully your hair will grow better hair is naturally very thick um, it's very coarse it dries out a lot so I'm somebody who has to definitely moisturize a lot or really focus on making sure that my hair um, holds on to moisture my hair was not holding on to as much moisture as it used to and I felt like no matter what I did and a lot of people would say oh use shea butter and I, I, I make my own shea butter my own whipped shea butter and I had to stop using that as well because I wasn't sure what was causing the problem so for all the people out there who've recently had to cut their hair or are starting again with their with their hair growth don't feel ashamed make yourself look glam and then share it with the world or share it with your friends and fa family and say hey guys this is what I look like this is what I look like with my haircut and you know I like it I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to embrace each stage it was really hard for me um, my sister and Joy and I guess my immediate family have seen me with my haircut um, and the last time I had such a haircut was when I was about four or five and it was for family portrait day and uh, my mom as I said before used to do my hair and she had done like a French braid with thread and it was too tight and m me being clever at that age was like you know what let me alleviate the pressure by trying to cut the thread you know because sometimes when you pull excessive tension on the head that's what causes that discomfort when you when you get certain styles done so there was just she did it too taut on my head so I was just like oh my gosh I need to get it out so <laughs> while I was trying to alleviate the, the tension on my head um, I cut my hair and my sister my older sister walked in and she was like what have you done what have you done to your hair and everyone was just like what were you doing and you know because you when you have your hair done with your mother you kind of build a, a love-hate relationship I enjoyed having my hair done with my mom she'd always make me look really pretty and cute but at the same time I hated it because you know she would she would use the hot comb 
um, and that was really, really uncomfortable. You know, she's like, sit still, sit still. If you move, that's when I burn you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's terrifying. At the end of the day, I, I would say it's it's a bonding moment with you and your mother, or the person who's doing your hair, and that's why I value certain relationships with certain stylists because it's a relationship they're telling you about your hair and what you need to do and what's going on on your head so back to it I thought today I would unveil my lovely hair um, and show you what I look like so be prepared for me to take off my lovely wig so we lift it up lift your wigs up ladies it's always a lift and so here's my beautiful baby I'm going to put it down and voila so this is how short my hair is I've naturally always had like a thinner um, hairline just over here it's always been like that um, no matter what I do it's always been like that but I'm not fussed about that I, I know that's what my natural hairline looks like but this is what um, Mademoiselle Joy did she just leveled all my hair out because this was the area right in the middle that um, I'd lost all my hair so um, thank you guys for watching and I would love to hear from everyone else who's had a big chop recently or has just cut their hair due to unforeseen reasons <laughs> like me um, me and my new hair and I would love to share my journey as I grow my hair all my tips and little tricks and my diet that I do to grow my hair so maybe in the next couple of months I will show you an updated video of what my hair looks like and how far I've gone so thank you guys for <laughs> listening to me ramble on about my life and my hair and how I got to this stage but I would love to hear your story so please do like and comment below and subscribe for more videos and updates on what's going on with me so take care Bye. So much time I spent to find something that I could call mine. Something real lots of all of these only people. So this is it. This is what it looks like.